Oh. So, uh, yeah, I want to answer um, a question I've been asked a lot recently and, and get asked just often in general. Um, and it's a, it's a really good question and it's something worth clarifying. It does relate, of course, to these recent videos we've been doing about, um, you know, bringing out that inner quality of wealth within you. But it also just has to do with affirming in general. Obviously, the exercises that Joseph Murphy's been talking about, like yesterday's KISS method, keep it simple, stupid method of just having like, you know, one word. In this case, he said wealth. Having one word and repeating it, kind of lulling yourself to sleep before bed every night with that one word wealth and feeling the power behind that, right? Um, that's an example, and he's given several throughout this chapter of using affirmations effectively, often very simple affirmations, um, to bring out the qualities we want in life. Uh, in this case, you know, we've been touching more upon the quality of supply. As Joel Goldsmith says, supply is an inner quality. What we're trying to do is bring out that inner quality that is within us, bring it without bring it to the outer world. But if we feel it within us, inevitably it's going to express itself in the outer world. We don't have to um, be focused so much on what's externally going to manifest unless we want to. We can be much more focused on this internal feeling of wealth and feeling as if we are going to have supply no matter what, you know? And likewise, qualities like health, love, uh, you know, compassion, generosity, these qualities we can, we can look at in a similar way. But the question I get asked quite often is, you know, you're doing these affirmations and do I have to say them out loud? Kuwe was a huge advocate of saying your auto suggestions out loud. He said, be sure to at least move your lips. You want to hear yourself even if it's just a whisper, just a whisper, you know? And uh, Murphy, you know, he's not as clear about it a lot of the time. Um, but there is this kind of idea that if you move your lips and hear yourself, it helps to imbue you with this sense of uh, the positive affirmation, um, actually feeling it more by, by saying it out loud. And obviously, I, I talk so much about talking out loud and suggesting stuff to yourself out loud. I'm a huge fan, as most of you know, about of talking out loud, right? Um, and utilizing out loud self-talk, often informal out loud self-talk, not necessarily affirmations, to, uh, to feel better. But do you have to say affirmations out loud? The answer is, without question, no. No, you do not. A lot of the great new thought teachers, and usually when we talk about affirmations in general, they're said silently. You know, H. Emily Cady, for instance, she advocated doing it in silence. You just say it to yourself in your head. And if we get into a meditative state, like before bed, before we drowse off, it's, you know, relatively easily to just repeat that word in your head and not to get too scattered. I think you're less likely to get scattered if you start out by saying it out loud and whisper like whisper wealth, wealth, or whisper whatever the heck you want, right? But whatever you're saying, to say it out loud and then transfer to just saying it silently in your head. But can you start out by just saying it silently in your head? Of course, of course. And if you're doing something like active affirming, like, you know, the stuff that Sammy Ingram always talks about and which I'm a big fan of, I'll, I'll put the video above, um, you know, one of the videos, I've made several videos at this point, just talking about Sammy, uh, Sammy's approach and why it's brilliant and how it lines up with what Kuwe is saying. But if you're actively affirming, if you're trying to affirm something constantly to bring it into your life, chances are that you're going to be doing that silently a lot of the time. I still personally would advise you to use out loud affirmations, out loud self-talk while you're actively affirming when you can or when you want to. But Active affirming when you're just affirming something over and over and over again, uh, you're going to be doing that just in your head. But the thing is, you do it constantly. And so, you know, this is one reason I want to talk about this today. 
a lot of these exercises, these, these exercises to bring out this idea of wealth and to actually realize it and have the subconscious conviction that it's real, that we have wealth. One who feels wealthy, who has that subconscious conviction, will always have supply. That's what, you know, Murphy's saying. That's what Raymond Charles Barker's saying. That's what Joel Goldsmith is saying. That's what all, the, what these, all these great classic wealth teachers talking about inner prosperity as opposed to just money, but true inner prosperity. That's what they're all saying. And, you know, a lot of these exercises that we've discussed recently, as great as they are, uh, do not involve that much affirming. It's like affirming before bed or affirming a few times a day for five minutes at a time, which is awesome and simple, very, very easy. But I want to remind all of you um, something that's so obvious that it might not be obvious, uncommon common sense, that if you get in a bind and you really do not feel any way, you know, and you just don't feel that wealth within you and you can't. And, you know, you're doing these exercises like before bed or a few times a day and you still just are really full of anxiety about your financial future and about supply and all that stuff. By all means, actively affirm. I mean, I always say do whatever technique works for you, right? I'll put that link above too. Do whatever technique works for you that day, right now. But one technique that works really, really well and why I talk about Sammy and her stuff, even though I don't agree with her on a bunch of things, is because what she talks about with active affirming, and you can do this in your head, it does not have to be out loud, just saying something over and over again, something simple, hopefully. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be complicated if you like having complicated statements, but both Sammy and myself would probably advise you to just keep it simple. Like I'm getting wealthier and wealthier or I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm becoming richer and richer, I'm rich or just a word like wealth, 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 like what Murphy was talking about. But whatever you want, whatever flows for you, it can be any freaking word, but keep it short, I would say. Make it a word or a short statement that resonates with you when you think about it. And then you can just actively affirm the heck out of that thing. You can do it throughout the day. And if you really feel like shit, <laughs> you can just do it all the time. Is it easy to do this? No. You're going to want to stop perhaps at times. It's going to feel very monotonous. You are not going to believe what you are affirming is relevant to you a lot of the time. It's not like the exercise yesterday where like you're saying wealth and lulling yourself to sleep and you feel it. You feel that wealth within you. When you're actively affirming throughout the day, for instance, just saying, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, over and over again, to yourself, silently, there's going to be so many times where you're like, this is bullshit. I don't believe this whatsoever. This is ridiculous. And you just keep on saying it. Keep on saying it. You know? This is something that Sammy talks about all the time, so I'm not going to... Um, belabor it. It's very straightforward. It also is very effective from what I've seen in my own life. And in, uh, you know, when I advise other people to do it, they seem to get results too. And cl clearly, Sammy, you know, she has so many followers and clearly a lot of her followers get great advice with this, get great results from using her advice, I should say. Um, so, you know, if you feel like you can't bring out this sense of supply and you feel anxious and nothing seems to be working, or if a lot of things are working but you just want to expedite the process of feeling better about abundance, feeling better about money, active affirming is a great way to do it. And what's so cool about active affirming is like you don't have to believe it's going to work for it to work because – as Kuwe always says, we can only think one thought at a time. So if you're just constantly filling your head throughout the day with, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, or just even just saying wealth, 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 wealth. If you're doing that constantly, your subconscious, your imagination, your thinking, whatever you want to call it, is going to start paying attention. And things are going to shift. Things are going to shift. 
So active affirming is a great tool to build, um, you know, more of a sense of supply and abundance in your life. It's also a great tool to build more of a sense of health or love or whatever. It's just a great tool. Uh, so yeah, that I feel like needed to be said. And also it needs to be said that, you know, I personally think that saying something out loud, especially if it's a short affirmation or you're just doing it for a couple minutes, an affirmation or an auto suggestion, it's worth it to probably try to do it out loud. But do you have to do it out loud? Absolutely not. Do what feels right to you and for you. Okay. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of these exercises that Murphy's been sharing are so simple. And um, as I said, that's usually a really, really good thing when it comes to techniques and exercises is to kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So uh, let's kiss. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. RadicalCounselor.com. We'll talk again soon.